Hey guys, I'm Pistol101 and welcome to Layers of Fear. Now, for those of you who don't know, I played Layers of Fear, the pre-game thing you could play, basically the beta that was out on Xbox One. I played that a while ago and I've gained a lot of subscribers since then. So, I'm gonna play, okay, the game came out completely, gotta start that off. The game is out completely now, it just recently is completely done, finished, all out. So, I'm gonna start from the beginning and play this fucking game again. It's gonna be a great time. I, this was the first horror game I ever played, and I did it for my channel. And it was fucking terrifying, and I wanted to commit suicide. But, let's start it up. Oh yeah, there's that little loading bar. Alright. So I'm gonna be doing this in conjunction with my uh, Far Cry Primal Let's Play. This will come out on a Monday, I believe. And Far Cry Primal comes out the Tuesday following. So I'll be doing this in conjunction with Far Cry Primal. So stay tuned, because I'm gonna play through the whole fucking game. If my sanity will allow for it, but I, I really am. I'm gonna let you guys in on a secret, alright? A little secret. I'm a bitch. I don't handle horror very well at all. I suck. So, who knows how this is gonna go. It's gonna be something. I may pee my pants. I, I may be a little scared. I may do a lot of things. Again, it's already on my channel. I did three parts and played through the pregame thing, but now I'm doing it again. I remember some stuff. It was a few months ago, so don't be mad at me if I miss a few things or things of the like. Let's see what they have to say. I know how you must feel. Oh, you do. You do know how I feel. Lost. Alone. Hopeless. Those are three adjectives. You probably deserve Those are three things. Or maybe they're not adjectives. I don't know. But even for you, words are hard. There is still a way. A way to bring it all back. The one precious thing you ever truly desired. Sleep. Finish it. Finish it? Alright, I'll be back. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I, li I lied. I'm not leaving. I can't leave. I'm strapped to this chair. Every portrait that is painted with feeling is a portrait of the artist, not of the sitter. Oscar Wilde, the picture of Dorian Gray. Man, alright, Oscar Wilde. Shout out to you. Oh, yep, here we go. Oh, fuck. God damn it. I remember this game. This game's so scary. It's so scary. I remember it. It sucks. I hate this game. I love it. It's great. I do it for the people. Oh, yeah, there's that little thing where I have to hold down the trigger and move the right stick to turn the knob. That sucks. That blows chunks, and I don't want to deal with it. Anyways. Oh, I remember this kitchen, too. Yes, this is the kitchen of dreams. Sorry, guys, for those of you who haven't seen this game played before. I'm going to be referencing and talking about things that I remember from playing the pregame. So, you know, don't be mad at me. Okay, there's that. My sensitivity is kind of high, kind of a little bit, maybe. I think right now as the game's loading, I don't know if it'll continue this, but it's kind of dropping frames a little bit, it looks like. It's a little stuttery. Maybe that doesn't show up on my recording, but on my monitor, this thing's a little stuttery. A little stuttery do. Okay, where are we gonna go? Oh no, I remember where we go. We go this way first, I think. What is this? Let's look. Sir, I didn't touch the wor the workshop, just like you asked. Although I can't imagine the mess that's inside. Also, if you care so much for that room, maybe you should pay more attention to where you leave the keys. I brought them back to your office. Have a nice day. You too. You too, man. Oh, wow. If I press X, I can read it in normal person's handwriting. That's nice. Okay, it requires a key. Oh, is that the basement of dreams? Uh, I'm good. I'm, I'm gonna go upstairs and check that place out first. Is there not a sprint button? Can I only walk? I don't remember. I can't sprint. It sucks. I think I go this way. If I'm not mistaken, I go one of these ways. I remember it was to this side. Been working all night. Don't wake me up. Hello? Hello? Oh! Oh! No, there's nothing there. There's nothing there. I'm crazy. I'm seeing things, man. I'm all kinds of freaked out. I'm so freaked out to play this game. I'm like freaking losing my mind. Galactic's grand openings in the flame. Disastrous fire at the new department store leaves dozens fighting for their lives. The long-awaited opening of the Galactic Department turned into hell on earth when the building's rings ring burst into flames while the majority of the visions... Visitors managed to reach the reach the emergency exits in time. Several unfortunate attendees were trapped in the back of the building, having no chance to escape the raging inferno. The exact number of casualties has not yet been determined, although it is estimated that at least a dozen people have been severely injured. The owner of the Galactic Ronald she Sheffield, she Sheffield has so far declined to comment on today's tragic events. Okay, what is this? A ring? Oh, show me the money. Yep, that's a ring. Yep, that's what it is. Okay, I'll put it back where I found it. What is this? Nothing? Okay. So, I remember that for the pregame, our objective was to find little trinkets that linked to the story and linked to- that's blood, that's straight blood, that's straight freaking murder. That linked to this guy's past. 
And another thing about this game, if you guys don't know, I'm sure a lot of you do, but I'm just, I mean, there may be some guy out there who doesn't know. Uh, like, a lot of to do with this game is that when you turn, the environment can comp- Fuck you! When you turn, the environment can completely change around you. So you gotta watch out for that. Hey, yep, there's that baby. I'm gonna turn this. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna close that door. It's not gonna help me and my fears and terrors, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Hey, fuck you, baby. Fuck you. I don't scare you. You don't scare me at all. You're a bitch. Okay, don't, but not really, though. Seriously. Okay, here's the key I need. What is this? Okay, I'm, I'm assuming I'm Red Riding Hood, and that's the bear. The bear, the little, the, not, the, not the bear, the stupid wolf. The wolf is the game, all right? I'm gonna let you know. The, the wolf is the game, and Red Riding Hood is me. And that's how it's gonna go. Okay, this is kind of telling a story. Yep. That's, that's what I was saying, uh-huh. So, yep, that's the story of Little Red Riding Hood, in case you were unfamiliar. I think we all know this stupid story, though. God dang it, my horizontal, or vertical sensitivity is really high. My dear friend, let me ask you one simple question. Have you completely lost your goddamn mind? I know you're going through some rough times right now. I really do. That's why I have agreed to let you do those illustrations in the first place for old time's sake. I even deliberately gave you a trivial task because I expected Little Red Riding Hood to be something you can draw in your sleep. What I didn't expect is to get this demented nightmare fuel you submitted for a kid's bedtime story. There's no way in hell I'm using this, and I already regret agreeing to payment in advance. Please, get your shit together. Your old pal, Liam Brickstone, Whispered Tale Publishing House. Okay, so apparently the guy that we are, which we're a crazy painter, in case you guys weren't aware of the story. Stop making noises, I swear to Christ. So, yeah, the crazy painter that we are, apparently, obviously, drew that picture for his friend for a publishing department. Oh, uh, what is this? Lights on? Okay, what does the light do? A lot, a lot of things do a lot of... Uh, unlock a lot of other things in this game, so... You kind of gotta watch out. Like, you can flip a switch and then turn around, and it's a completely different room with something else you need to find, possibly. But we have the key now to go into the locked rooms. Yeah, you can go fuck yourself. I'm not going in that room. Yeah, I did that last time. You know what? I'll do it. I'll do it for the kids. I did that last time. I... Fucking played this game. Don't you? No. I have a key. Why is that locked? I bet something's gonna scare me. Don't you do it. No. No, I am a man. I am a man of the of the, the times. What is this? Oh, that's cute. That's adorable. I don't want to shove that up my ass because that's what this game's gonna do to me anyways. There's the babies. Yep, okay. Okay, is that me? Oh, I'm pretty. I think I'm the guy on the left. And then that's my wife and my child. So again, this painter's crazy. He has a family, and you're you're kind of learning his story. He's basically, this game is like very, uh... Hold up, nothing's happening there. This game is like, it's called like a psychedelic horror game, and that like, all these things you're seeing, all these, uh, w that we're gonna see, all these tragic, like, terrible, scary things, they're all in your head. They're not real. It's just, it like, it's basically a glimpse into this guy's crazy, demented mind. But they're not actually there. And that's kind of the theme here. Like, oh, he's just in a regular house, seeing shit that scares the hell out of him. Fuck that. I'm done. I'm done with that shenanigans. That's, that's bahonky. I'm not doing that. Alright. Nothing looking, uh, nothing going on in here. I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna go away. I'm gonna leave. And never come back, ever. Fuck you. Fuck you, game. Uh, I think I go towards the blood now. Where are we, nine minutes in? Great! I hoped we were 30 minutes in, but that's fine. That's okay. That's fine. God damn. Okay, by the way, I'm gonna try to make these parts roughly anywhere between 20 to 30 minutes, but I probably won't go to 30 minutes too often because that's kind of long. That's kind of hitting it long, and we're, you know, we want to make this last a little bit. I think I go that way, if I'm not mistaken. I already read that. All right, we got that key from upstairs. Now we go in here. I spent a little too long this part, or so earlier, while ago, in that room. I spent a little too long looking around. I don't think any of that mattered, really. There wasn't a ton of stuff that mattered. I'm gonna go and check all this out. What's in here? Come on. Vertical sensitivity is a little high. I need to change that after, after we play a little while. As in, like, after I'm done recording. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to think and talk at the same time. It's not happening. I'm so sick and tired of us talking through these notes. Me too, man. We live in the same house, for God's sake. Come talk to me when you've done... When you've done. When you have done. Okay, that's weird. 
before you go to sleep. Okay, yeah, that's nice. So I, I'll get right on that. It's not happening at all, ever. Anything in here? That's my stupid paint. So apparently this guy's writing notes to his wife. That's cool. Interesting. He's a soda bottle collector, or is that paint? I'm not sure. If I tear that down, it might be a scary painting. Lost. You deserve. Finish it. Yep, okay. That's cool. I'm gonna open all this stuff before we move on. There's a lot of looking around in the beginning, but then it's more, like, defined of a path you have to follow. Once we start finding these little trinkets that we have to have in these little cabinets. Did we already find one? No, we didn't. Okay, because they'll start appearing here as you find them. And I, you may have to find six total, but I'm not sure. Alright, so I pulled that down. Achievement! It's covered up for a reason. Yeah, I bet it is. Good work. Get working on your Magnus Opus. So yeah, that's part of the game as well. You start finding these pieces and you're in the mind of a psychotic painter and he's working on his masterpiece. Get it right this time. Okay, so we're going to go back into the environment. The environment will change. Different things will be there, like this hallway. I don't even remember that this was here before. I'm just going to go and not turn around ever. Okay. Okay. Just out of reach. Can I... Fucking shit fuck. What was that noise? The window shut on me. That's nice. Yeah, good job, game. GG. What is this? Is there anything in here? No, I'm gonna have to leave again. I'm just gonna have to leave and then it's gonna be stupid. Light? Did the light do anything? What's in this painting? Oh, that's cool. Look, that's me and that's the game fucking me. Again, very parallel. Very parallel circumstances to Little Red Riding Hood. Oh, hey, what's up, man? What you doing? You chilling? That's cool. Yeah, I'm just going through this game. Nothing big. Nothing, nothing real. Oh, God. Going in circles. Yeah, yeah I'm going in circles, all right. That's something. That's something that's true. Oh, the game fucking me up there. Same painting. I think the first um, of those little collectible things we have to find is in here, if I'm not mistaken. Let's check. I think it's over here, and there's like a code. Yep, yep, there it is. All right, now we got to find. There's something in this room that will give us the code. Where is it at? It's not in here. Oh, wait, there we go. I'm really going to have to lower that vertical sensitivity later. I could do it now, but fuck it. I'm already playing. I'm not doing that. Come on, there we go. Save the date. Uh, what is this? Request the pleasure of your company to celebrate their wedding on Saturday, the night of June at St. Luke's Chapel at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. Where's the code? I know it's here somewhere. Oh, I bet it, I think it's in this painting. Is it in the painting? Oh, the light. Oh, yeah, there's the code. I remember that now. You guys, uh, you guys remember that? Yeah, all right, okay, all right. What is this? Okay, so the code is 485. I was making sure nothing was in the room before I entered that code, which is why I didn't do it immediately. Okay, I'm doing it. Don't worry. Four, eight, yep, yeah, okay. Five. Got it. Thanks. The thought alone that the most beautiful piece of Jibbe. art doesn't have my Wanderer. is killing me. So, so, will you marry me? Oh, another achievement. Okay. It rings a bell. Okay. Yes. Discovered an echo from the past. That was one. The past holds back. Look closer. Okay. I, I looked, but that's nice. Okay. That's the ring I saw earlier. So maybe a lot, I think maybe a lot of the relics that I'll never forget. Rip in peace. A lot of the relics that I found in the beginning, remember how like all those rooms are connected? That's how the house really is connected, but in this guy's crazy mind and as we go through the game, it's all mixed up and I revisit all these locations again and again. But as you can see, a little differently, connected by different things and different circumstances. Like this hallway, not there before, it is now. Okay. Thanks door for closing behind me, That's I appreciate it. You know, I was going to close it, but you could just kind of close on your own, that's cool, that's fine. Somebody was playing, uh, the little tic-tac-toe. What is it? No, the chicken game. What is, what is that game you can play with the dominoes? I never played with dominoes, but I know you can play, like, games in the wooden stuff. Jesus! Fuck you, game! I don't- I don't remember that in the, in the pre-game. I don't- and there's no flashlight, and it's very dark. What is this? Okay, my love, even though you have not been born yet, I can already feel your presence. It's simply amazing. I just can't believe how lucky I am. A year ago, all I had was talent and ambition. Now, against all odds, I have a, care a career. 
A loving husband and you. I have never been a deeply religious person. I guess that I guess what other people look for in, in a sermon I found in perfecting my art. But now I can't help but feel like there's a higher power watching over me. They once told me that I would never succeed as a musician. Now I'm playing sold-out concerts at some of the most prestigious venues in the country. They also said I had a difficult character and that I would never find a soulmate. And guess again, finally, a doctor once told me that I would never be able to have children of my own. And yet, here you are. Within me, I am quite possibly the happiest woman in the world. I love you so much. Love you too, babe. Don't fucking scare me like that again, you bitch. Oh, gee, but that's nice. Scraps of love. I'm worried every time I turn around, guys, because that bitch could be there, and I'm, it terrifies me. Okay. Oh, God! Fuck you! Fuck! Why? No! I'm leaving that room! Get out of here! No! God, no! Fuck you, game! Pull the lever of darkness! Pull the lever of truth! Go! Fuck you! You suck! I pulled- there was a baby there before, and I walked up to the baby, and I fell through the floor! You suck! Why? Why would you do that to me? Alright, we're 16 minutes in. Alright, we're doing well for ourselves. Hey, Moose. Oh, there's the baby again. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, what's left? I don't think there's anything else in here that I know of. God dang, I'm a lot- I'll tell you what, guys. If you go watch my previous playthrough of this- one, you can see that my, like, webcam and all my cropping and stuff, basically everything's a lot better looking now. But also, I'm a lot braver than I was because I've played a couple horror games since then. I played, I mean, hold on, let's walk through here. So this was the first horror game I played, that little pre-game, that game preview. And then I played Outlast, Outlast Whistleblower, Slender the Arrival. So I'm a little bit braver, but not a lot, not a lot at all. God fucking damn it, Pink, damn it, Pink, deep lies, okay. Damn you. Oh, God, sorry, guys. Whew. This game tests me. It tests my wills. It tests my spirit and my gut a lot. Game, if you fuck me again, I swear. That rat just ran into the fire. I imagine that's where I need to go. But I don't want to go there, because if I go and look at that painting, something's going to be there. I know it. Hello, painting. Hello. Oh, fucking god damn, why? Go, no, shut, stupid idiot. Screw you, man in the mirror. I'm talking to the man in the mirror. Okay, now where... Was there even anything I needed in this room, or are you just screwing with me? There's a chest under there. Can I crouch? No, there's no crouch. I know that I can zoom in now. That's great. Never doing that. Oh, look at this. Zoom in. Yeah, screw you. I'm not looking at any of this closer. Hello? Nope, nobody there. It looks like there's nothing I need in this room that I'm... That's just a rat. Don't look at it. Don't do not do anything to it. Don't talk to it. Don't breathe on it. Don't pee on it. Don't do anything. Oh, that's pretty. That's a pretty room. I'm gonna keep going. There's crying in there. Fuck you, crying. Wait, I probably have to look at the crying. It's locked. Good. Didn't want to look at it anyway, to be honest with you. I'm gonna go this way and hope that everything is fine and not gonna eat me. And hopefully it won't eat me. I don't remember this room in the pregame. That scares the hell out of me, to be honest with you. I'm just gonna keep walking. Keep walking down the hallway. Don't look. First step is the hardest. Yeah, you damn right, game. God, I get so hot playing this game. Oh no, oh god, no, fuck. The kitchen of dreams. Oh, the kitchen of terrors. Here it goes. Can't lock. Okay, that's locked. Nice. Nice. Oh, do I have to open all of these ovens? I bet I do. I bet I have to do something like that. I need to sit up a little bit. A little slouchy. I'm a little slouchy after I got scared to death. Which is great. Come on. What the fuck is that noise? Who are you? Eh. Don't you drop apples in front of me. I don't want your stupid apples. So, someone's trying to get into the room, it seems. Should probably keep going ahead and opening these so they don't get in the room. Come on. Oh, there's one more. That's all the ovens! I did what you want, game! What do you want from me? What do you want? What did I do? How do I get out of here? Do I need to... 
Did I pr okay, I pressed the button of doom. Now what? Try to open this door, I guess. That's a brick wall. Nice. Oh god. Oh fuck. No, me. Screw that. I'm gonna go to the light. That painting? Okay. First, I looked for a canvas. Not just any canvas. I had to find a knife. Not one of those bread ones. It needed to be as sharp as a razor. So I used a razor, in fact, and then carefully flayed the skin. Is that skin? Is that what that is? Helped keep my hand steady. God dang, you are a psychopath, sir. I'm leaving. I'm out of here. Screw it. Oh god, okay, I'm back in the safe room. I'm back. Okay, show- what is this? Shapeless dreams. Yeah, you're right. So this is basically the safe room, guys. You're pretty much safe in here, I think. Unless I'm wrong, and this is the wrong safe room. Oh, that's some stuff. This is new. I don't remember this book being here, but that's- Oh wait, here we go. It's okay, so apparently our love letters or things of the sort will be in there. Now let's look at this painting. Don't you shake at me painting, I will shake at you back. What is this? What am I looking at? Oh, flamingos? That's cool. Yeah, I like flamingos, they're alright. That's a loading symbol, it seems. Alright, go ahead, game, load away. You see, you look like you're doing something right to me. Alright, so the game is done loading, now what? Okay, here we go, that's nice. The skin, okay, first I looked for a canvas. Not just any canvas, I had to find a knife. Okay, that's the thing he said earlier. So, we found the first little piece to a larger puzzle in this scary-ass go-fuck-yourself game. How brilliant! What is this? Does it say anything else? Hate even now, lost. You deserve. Finish it. Okay, so maybe even if, like, or when you fill those in, you, you get more words here, too. And it maybe completes the canvas? Oh, excuse me. I don't know. But anyways, guys, I think that's all I have for the first part. Not much else. I think we read that already. What's it about? Wait, deep breaths. Remember, you're a professional. It's just the few, first few strokes. Then you're over the hump. What's so hard about it? I don't know. You tell me. Anyways, guys, I think after finding that first thing, we are done with the first part of my Layers of Fear playthrough. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Pistol101. If you like this video, feel free to press the like button. If you want, you can support me on Patreon. Links in the description. And subscribe. I will see you guys later.